Will an Amazon phone launch in the near future? We've been waiting for one to emerge from Bezos' pocket for some time. But what could it look like and what will it be able to do? Here's what the T3 experts think. If Amazon move into smartphones in what most people are calling the Kindle phone, um, you'd certainly expect some element of their e-reader business to be incorporated within it. Now whether that comes out in the screen, um, such as a, an e-ink display on the front incorporated into the main display, or a two-screen system like we've seen on the Yota phone, um, we could also just see them incorporate their, their large and lucrative Amazon e-book store um, into that phone, but certainly you'd expect some element to be seen in the phone. Amazon already has one of the most integrated um, environments available on Android. Um, it's very closed off, but it works perfectly. Um, so we'll almost certainly see something similar on the Kindle phone. Uh, the ability to send books, music, apps and games from the Amazon store online straight to your device, um, which I think will be something that will really appeal to customers. What we'd possibly like to see more of is the integration of uh, their streaming services with Love Film and an increase in the number of apps available because at the moment they're really going to need to compete with the likes of the Samsung Galaxy S4 on Android and the iPhone, both of which have hundreds of thousands of apps. And so we may even see Amazon expanding its apps store considerably. Love Film is such a, a huge area for Amazon um, to really focus on, I think. And so what we'd really like to see with a Kindle phone is an increase in the number of features on their streaming services. So the ability to watch things offline um, and download content, something that could compete with the likes of Sky Go, iPlayer, and can set the Kindle phone out as something with a unique selling point. If the Kindle phone is going to be a success, they have to follow Google's footprint. They're going to release a phone that is very good on paper, lots of nice bits and pieces, good specs, but subsidise it really heavily, release it at a very, very competitive price, get people buying the phone kind of invested in, in the Kindle structure and then start selling their content from there. One of the features that I'd like to see in the Kindle phone is three 3G calls. We've seen three 3G on their e-readers, so you can download books, browse the internet, and having already worked with local network operators, there's every possibility that they can offer free 3G calls on a phone. I think it's really important that Amazon with the Kindle phone tap into what they're already good at. So, I mean, first of all, the ink screen with the Kindle is perfect for keeping the battery life. So, you know, it doesn't run down, it lasts for ages. Obviously, they moved away with that on the Kindle Fire, so it'd be interesting to see what they did. The Yota phone has kept an e-ink screen for the battery life, so that's shown that can work. The other thing they do is just a silk browser, which is using cloud to basically make it feel faster and kind of access quicker because it's already preloaded some stuff. They did that with the Kindle Fire. That could be great for browsing on the phone, but that won't really go with the battery life, so it'd be interesting to see which way they go. One thing it's got to do is come in at a cheap price point. You know, I think you know, Apple and Samsung have the high end with HTC, and I think you know, Amazon has caused disruption when it's coming at a low end price point. It's you know, kind of £79 for the Kindle, 159 for the Kindle Fire, and I think it would need to be a cheap phone. Um, because it's got the other assets and the other kind of benefits of a smartphone, but it would then come in as a really compelling price, which could be, say, for someone's second phone or a budget phone market.